Hi guys, my name is Kylie and today I'm going to talk to you guys about what happens when you do what you see on the internet. I'm just kidding, that's not really what I'm going to be talking about today. But today I'm going to be showing you guys some really disturbing clips. If you are a hair guru, you might want to look away. Or just keep watching because it's actually pretty important to know this stuff if you have hair extensions. Alright, so I have a little story time for you guys. I'm sorry if my makeup is all muddy right now. I don't know. I've been running around all day. I was kind of sweating. Sorry about that. I'm just going to tell you guys this little story about how I ruined my hair extensions. Yes, this is hair extension. And it goes this way. It's supposed to go that way. The clips are there. That's going that. Yeah. I was given a task to dye these as many times as I can. So they kind of just like let me do what I want with it, but I had this whole plan, wanted to see how I could strip them easiest and stuff like that, so I was trying different methods, I was doing experimental videos. I'm going to read you this email right now. This was on May 25th. Hello Valentine, I hope you are doing well. I'm not sure if you are the one I'm supposed to be contacting, but I am having an immediate crisis and I don't know what to do. I just made a video of me stripping the color from my hair extensions and I messed up really bad. I'm writing this to you in a panic because prom is in two weeks and I was supposed to wear these hair extensions to my senior prom, but I'm going to explain to you what happened the best I can. I'm attaching a video uh, a video link to an unlisted video on my YouTube channel of the condition of my hair extensions before, during, and after the accident. I will play this video. It's a silent video. I'll play this video while I'm reading this to you. This is the whole situation. So I have been washing out these human hair clip-in extensions with clarifying shampoo multiple times and I needed an immediate strip result so I could dye them for prom. I decided to use the boiling method. I have used this method twice before. Okay, so this was my mistake. I I looked up uh, boiling method VP fashion hair extensions. I clicked on all the videos. I'd already watched all these videos, but I decided to rewatch them to refresh my memories just in case there was anything I forgot to do. So I watched them. I realized that Sarah Monster Kitty is the only one that's actually promoted by BB Fashion, but all the other ones basically had like human hair extensions and they strip the color. It works. It's a method that works. And I've done it before myself, so I know very well that it works. I only boiled one third of the hair extensions, as in I sectioned the entire set into three different sections. I boiled one of them first. That was the sections, the ones that framed my face. I only boiled one third section of my hair extensions because I realized immediately that they didn't look right. I used regular water, boiled the water, and didn't even let the water boil all the way. Then I put in dish soap, turned off the heat, moved the pan to a cooler area on the stove, waited about a minute of cooling, and then I dipped the extensions in and moved them around, stirring them the whole time so they didn't stick to the pan or anything. When I pulled them out, they were stringy and falling apart like jelly and smelled like soggy, burnt hair. I am terrified and disgusted. Like I said, I really have done this before, so I don't know what happened. Could you please tell me what I did wrong if you know? And is there anything I can do to either fix this or replace them because I honestly don't have time for this. Prom is in 16 days and I have a dress that was meant to be worn with the extensions that pull together the whole look and I'm seriously panicking now. I'm so sorry. This was a disaster and I really need it fixed. Please respond. I'm so sorry for my poor grammar and punctuation. I'm really stressed out about school and on top of this, this is just great. The, the girl I talked to online about um, the hair extensions, she's the one that sends me them and everything. Um, hi Kylie, sorry for hearing this bad news from you. Actually, this is only one way from one of our gurus. So I'm not sure if this is safe. Some girls have reflected this problem to us. I suggest that you can try some other ways to remove color, like vitamin C or anti dander shampoo, etc. After deep condition the extensions. No worry about this. We could send you another new set for your prom. So VB Fashion was very sweet about it. They sent me a new pair. Um, so I actually have a video um, probably going to be uploaded right before I post this one so you can go ahead and click that card right there to watch the video of how I dyed those hair extensions um, they ended up really looking great and successful and so I'm really grateful that I actually got those um, and I'm still working with the other pair of hair extensions the parts of it that, that I didn't ruin I wanted to save this so that I could show you guys what happened um, it's crunchy here listen that's me shaking it and then yeah, this is like ASMR. Yeah, well, I mean, this is bad. I tried to do something. I was like, hey, maybe only the ends burnt off because maybe they stuck to the pan even though I was moving around the entire time. I cut off the bottom and this part is still all messed up. 
I even cut, you can even see this section right here, I tried to cut it up to this point, which theoretically, no one wears hair extensions that are four inches long. That's so weird, like, I don't have any hair on my head that's four inches long. Maybe like up here, I don't know. But um, I wouldn't wear hair extensions like that. So I tried it out to see, oh, maybe like there's some parts that I could salvage. And it's, um, no, no, not at all, because these hair extensions are completely ruined. I do have a theory. I think I used too much dish soap, as in I put in enough for two full dishwasher loads. Like, that's what my mom said. She was like, okay, you just dumped, like, the whole thing in there. Because, <laughs> like, I had the, these two big jugs. I didn't know which one worked better. So I was like, hey, I'll put in both. So I dunked in a lot, and I was like, oh, that's way too much, whatever. And I dunked in way more, and I was like, maybe that's it. But I would say, guys, just don't do it at all. Don't risk losing $100 extensions over just trying to strip the color out. Just keep the color the same or, like, do something else with them. Because there really are other methods. I have other videos. My most recent video is this one right here that'll pop up on the card right there. That's how I remove them very gently. And this was actually before... I ended up doing this to my hair. Um, the video shows like how I was doing it in the same exact pot, but instead, um, this is exactly what I did for my other hair extensions. I'll show them right. So this right here is the set of hair extensions that belongs to the same set as this. These are um, the only ones that I ruined. These are the ones that uh, are still good. And then this is the new set of extensions that was sent to me. Um, I stripped all the color out of both of these and somehow they ended up the same exact color but um now I'll show you exactly how I did that and how they are still silky smooth they look really frizzy right now because when they dry they dry in like waves and it looks really tight and pretty and shiny then my stupid ass decided to like brush it out because I don't really have wavy hair so and I was like nope I forgot that when you brush wavy hair it becomes really big and frizzy they're like actually really soft so how I did that without ruining them at all. You know those pots that you you put on this little thing, you turn it on and it boils the water, dispense it, um, and you make tea with it usually. I made a full like pot of that. I poured it into the pot and the pot was in the sink. It wasn't even on the stove, it was in the sink. So I poured the already boiled water um, in the pot in the sink with the dish soap already there. Then I dipped the extensions in. I didn't let go, I just swirled them around. You guys can see in the video, I kind of tried different methods and I was really careful because I started out with the set that I had already ruined. So like if I ruined them anymore, uh, oh well, it's already the set, the whole set is gone then. Um, I started out with those and it seemed really successful. So I went onto these ones and I kept going back and forth, letting them cool off and then I would do it again. I did about seven rounds. I know that sounds crazy, but I spent all morning doing this because this is two sets of hair extensions, remember that. So I grabbed every single section. I'm gonna do it like maybe two more times. This is kind of like a, a pastel purpley pink color. These extensions used to look like this. So in one day they turned from this into this and that's pretty amazing without any damage. That right there is a very similar method to the boil method that I used on these ones. The only difference is it's a lot more controlled. And the other methods that you can use is using clarifying shampoo. So dish soap and hand soap are good. They remove color, but they're very drying. So then you want to buy a deep conditioning treatment to put on the hair after you strip all the color. And then the hair extensions will be fine. They'll be completely normal as before. Another method is to use crushed up vitamin C tablets. I've never used this method. Um, I know that they actually sell vitamin C powder now, like you don't even have to crush it up, you just get the powder. I don't know, you, you might want to use clarifying shampoo at least once, but I think dish soap is cheaper and it gets the job done quicker. Wet the hair with really hot water, take the dish soap and soak them up really good, and then you can rinse it out with hot water. Like using boiled water is very risky. I think it's all about experimentation. For me, I'm going to stick with that like controlled boil method. Not the one on the stove, because the one on the stove, that was really bad. I'm scarred by the smell, honestly. The smell is what got me, bro. Yeah, so I mean, if you want to try this out yourself, please do your own experiments. Let me know. Comment down below what happened to your hair. If you want to buy a pair of hair extensions, uh, I have 
a code for $10 off VP Fashion hair extensions. The link is in the description and use my discount code JELLYFISH for $10 off. Oh god, it's like alive or something. This could honestly be like a house decoration. Like just put this in a pot. And it just looks like, you could say it's like coral from like a reef in, in, in New Zealand, I don't know. Someone would believe you, I promise you, someone would. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, like it if you enjoyed my little scary story about hair. And subscribe to me if you haven't already. I'm going to make way more videos this summer. Um, I'm also going to be on you now, live streaming um, as often as I possibly can. Go to the link in my description and me on you now. Thank you guys so much. Stay epic.